Okay, we are continuing our LWC foundation by learning the foundational of JavaScript language where we will be using a lot in LWC development. So, this was the previous video we did which is talking about spread operator. I'm going to take this out and let's talk about destructuring so what is destructuring so we're going to talk about destructuring array and object okay let's talk about array destructuring meaning we want to make the elements of the array into variables into separate variables so a good example is if we define let full name equals uh, let's create an array this consists of the first name of the person jimmy and the last name tanzil okay so the full name consists of the first name and the last name so you get this value from Salesforce, so to speak. And now you want to define which is the first name, which is the last name, right? The old ways of doing that is you do this. Let first name equals full name index zero. The zeroth index, the first index. Remember our discussion about array on the two previous videos? So let last name equals full name, the first index. So this would be this one, right? So if I console.log, this is the old way of doing it. Um, first name and then console.log, last name it will print as we expect jimmy and then underneath that tanzil first name jimmy last name tanzil but there is a better way of doing this instead of doing that let's make it even simpler so i'm going to say let right first name and last name equals full name so this will automatically map the first name variable to the first index of the array the last name to the second one like so that's way better right defining it like this so you can eyeball it with your eyes and see oh this would go here and this would go this would go there so let's give it a try and see what the result is. I'm saving it still. Saving, saving, saving. Done. Same thing. Jimmy Tanzil. So that's um, how you destructure an array. So let's do another example. Let's do, let's take this out. Another example is maybe we want to split an address so one two three fake street uh, fake city and then uh, postal code like that fake postal code and then the state say California and the country is US so the old way requires many lines so if you want to let uh, street equals address zero let city equals address one let zip equals address well that sucks right what if you have a longer set of array that you want to map out so to speak and you have to do another one state and country you just you just have to keep going which just take you 
a lot of time and then when you wanna read your code it's just taking a lot more effort and time now if you just do this let then define it like um, street next city zip state oops and country right equals address that's it so if i go console dot log for example i just want to pick the city right and i flip back boom fake city because this is mapping the first one to the first one here second one to the second value here zip to this one right state to this one and country to this one that's a way better line of codes right rather than splitting it like um, by the array index so that is how we can destructure an array and a um, real world scenario on how you would use such a thing is when you're mapping stuff like first name last name street address and other stuff in salesforce all right next is how we can destructure an object so to do an object let's take this all out and let's change address to be an object like so so this is an address object we have street one two three fake street and then we have city fake city and then we have what else um postal code or zip in the u.s is oops um like that and then state california and then country us now we can destructure and make street its own variable city its own variable zip and state and country right or we can just choose oh i just want to make a variable of the street from this object i don't want to take the whole thing right so to do that i'm going to say let and then i just want to take the street please let street equals address so basically it's saying take just the street that's all i need and now if i want to console.log um street we should have one two three five street that's pretty awesome right i like that so if i refresh one two three fake street so now we only just destructured the street now if i want to do console.log the the what the postal code the zip can we do that we haven't destructured the zip can we do that let's refresh boom uncut we haven't done that so we have to put zip oh i want to get zip as well please zip and then you can access it come on save 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 still waiting for this star here come on salesforce then refresh now we got the postal or the zip code because we just make it available from there so that's how you destructure objects pretty neat right we are going to use lots of this destructuring on lwc development that's why you have to type with your 10 fingers all of these codes don't just watch this and think you've already got it you have to type it type it type it type it again and again and again until you actually type it <laughs> all right i'm pretty sure you're gonna get the hang of it I'll see you on the next video. Bada bing, bada boom. Hit that subscribe button and explore new trailhead grounds. 
and learn to implement the most useful and popular apps on the Salesforce App Exchange. And do yourself a favor, like this video and you'll be surprised on how much more you understand when watching this same video after liking it. Don't take my word, watch this one more time after you like the video and see it for yourself. Bada bing, bada boom.